The purpose of this video is to perform a permutation or randomization correlation test on the education and earnings per day data. You may recall that the earnings per day data were skewed relatively substantially, almost 1.0, which could raise some concern about the accuracy of a p-value derived from a correlation between one variable and another one, which is skewed fairly substantially, but not very much so. So in this case here, to run the analysis, I use the Hayes et al. syntax, which is here, Hayes from 1998. In this case here, I've got, in fact, I've actually got it at 1,000 permutations, but that's the first thing you want to specify is 5,000 max loops. And you can ignore the seed because that's just random number generated. And then we have to specify the drive that we want to call. And in this case, the data file is in the D drive, education and earnings. So that's the data file there. And then I've got the two variables, the independent and dependent variables, education and earnings per day. And then I've got education and earnings per day again on this line here. And then finally, I've got the number of permutations. And Hayes recommends a minimum of 5,000. And I've got 5,000 specified here. So the max number of loops and the number of permutations are equal to each other. And I'll just look at the bottom again. Ah, yes. Make sure that the bottom of the syntax actually has the drive that is relevant to your own computer. So you'll need to have a D next to the perm dist file, which will be created on your drive. And then the program actually runs a histogram on those data. So let's run this now and see if this works. OK, so here's the Pearson correlation between education and earnings, 0.337, with a p-value of 0 0.033. And here is the randomization test also produced here. And the p-value, as mentioned in the previous video, you get the same Pearson correlation. And here's the alternative p-value from the randomization test. And we can see that it's equal to 10 to the exponent negative 2 times 3.62. I think the simplest way to go about this is to simply add the p-values associated with the first two rows. And that will give you the two-tailed test p-value associated with this analysis. So in this case, 0 0.0184 plus 0 0.0178 equals 0 0.0362. And so that's the p-value that was estimated for testing the null hypothesis that there's no association between education and earnings. So the null hypothesis has been rejected, and the p-value is equal to 0 0.0362. And it's similar to the p-value that was estimated from the normal theory estimation approach, which is 0 0.033. So in this case, there was a difference, and it'll usually happen that the randomization test will produce a different p-value than the normal theory one. But in this case, the randomization corroborated the normal theory p-value and suggested that the null hypothesis should be rejected. Again, as is the case with all permutation randomization bootstrap type analyses, you might not get the same exact p-values that I get when you run the analysis, especially if you change the seed number. You don't have to. You can keep it the same. And so that's my final comment on that. This is the second randomization test that I show in the textbook, and this is how I perform the test.